Hello everybody, we are back again today with another episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In the last episode, we kind of got around Cosmo Canyon, or the Cosmo Canyon area, I guess, and did a couple side quests, and as I promised, I was going to at least get to Cosmo Canyon proper before the end of the episode, and here we are. So we are going to cross the bridge and move on with the plot. I can't believe it. It really is you. <laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Ugh. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. <laughs> what in the hell was that? <laughs> hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. <laughs> but I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Cool. No, thank you. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? Chadley is clear on the other end of town. No sport is there. Can you believe it? Even though we may struggle, to the planet is always watching you. You see that wanted poster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. Right up, folks. I mean, don't complain. No, no, these are actual shops. Jeez, Red. Um, I guess down here. Chadley, my boy, you are over here. We have is a gift given to us. We're at the Cosmo Canyon Cloud. A long standing dream of mine has finally come true. Planetology rejects our Mako consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. All right, um, I could do the jump one. All right, let's go ahead and do. Summons. Did I do all three for the new one too? No, I've only gotten two of them. I don't need to take him on at full might. You have to be out of your mind. I got nothing to prove. And. Frankenstein looking thing. Best to right. No weaknesses. Ouch. 
Lightning. No, is that lightning yet? Well, let's try Blizzard. Three. Dodge. Ouch. Did he seriously shock it out of me? God damn it. Mother! He did it again. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I've barely done anything to him. So it's my turn? One more shot! Over here! Get him! This one's for you! Nope. I wanna pray. Got one. No, 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 wrong person. Um, fire blade, sure. He's got one. Yeah, infinity's in. That's what it was. Mid gone. Copy. Dodge anything here, or is it just pandemonium? You're gonna make me do everything. Son of a bitch, he's hard. Damn it. Over, huh? And, whoo! 
He's a toughie. Even at his minimum, he's a toughie. All right, we'll come back to that. I clearly need to get a little. I encourage further. you to try again sometime. Damn, I can't imagine what he's saying. Many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Um, where is? There it is. Well, George, which way did he go? Curious shop here. Planet, watch over and keep you. The luminance of materia is the light of the very planet. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, you a customer? Possibly. Not looking that way, though. Not a damn thing I want. Yep, nope. Oh, and uh, please come again. Yeah, probably won't, because you had nothing I needed. All right. What do you got? Well, I've seen worse. Congrats, you're welcome to shop here. Well, a couple uh, things. So we got a weapon for him. Then armor. Ooh, good armor. Good armor. Road warrior bangle. Snail shell. I can't believe I'm almost out of money. Better watch how you wield those things now. Yeah, um, sure. Thanks for the warning. Bangle. Yeah, okay. Let's give her that. This is crucible. I thought there was one that was there we go. Enhanced witch. No, it lowers her defense. Damn it. Anything give her everything up or just her magic defense? No, not the road warrior one. Not the outlaw one. But it lowers her materia that she's... Oh, maybe it actually gives her another one. Right, let's take a look here. Yeah, okay, cool, it does. It's... Do that one. What can we give her for materia then?
Those actually need to be up here. So let's... Born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a thing! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To get him to home. learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. <laughs> I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then. We can see the sights. Ladies. Cool. That's it then, huh? I've been studying planetology for years now, but there's always more for me to learn. Feel the energy all around you. It rides the winds at our very core. We are the winds. Our journey begins here, at the dawn of light. As the newborn souls. Where the hell is that elevator at? There it is. Since time in the memorial. Whoa, whoa, Professor Gas. Huh. All right, going up. Can't draw my weapon, so can't smash boxes. Ah, not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Why would you add that detail?
red. Where did you go? Damn, we are high up. That's a ways up. A dry, barren, boring landscape. I do not like deserts. Uh, I'm more of the greenery type. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. Forty what? <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> So is that not everybody in my party gone? Gizmos and gadgets. Gizmos and gadgets are plenty, is what it said. If we've anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, huh? nor any creature, big or small, with whom we share our home. Sorry, what is stopping me here? Her children to join hands and come together for united. <sighs> A warm welcome to you, friends of Nanaki. Um, Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Books, huh? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Sorry about that. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance. It is, in fact, a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. And yet, it's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Huh. Find a way to bring out the full depths of your beauty. Cross my heart. That little scamp. I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Nope, no interacting with them. Okay. Oh, have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. Huh. 
It's on the lower level still, huh? Okay, what was on the lower level that I missed? Take like that, whatever it is. Yoink. Something down here I didn't do yet. Should be straight across from me. No, it was behind me? Where the balls is it? Well, I'm on the level where it is. The fact that it doesn't show up on my screen anywhere. It's the stairs up. There, I found it, jeez. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Okay. All right, I'm still doing this. This is weird, like it's not necessarily plot, but Okay, let's just go back up, see if we can get up to an upper, upper floor. Alright, there's stairs there. What's over here? Hello. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. I suspect it can't detect much now. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. And don't make it an active one. All right, stairs up, stairs up. Hot air balloon. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new air flows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Right. on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. Huh. Yeah, there's still something down there I missed. There's so much we have yet to learn about the universe. Oh, I can get out here. Cool. Anything interesting out here? Weapon, armor, materia, and nope. Nada. Okay. Manners in front of fellow Bugenhagen. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time. All right, well, I guess there's only just the something still down there to 
examine in the main floor. of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two, in the Corral and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> Fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Mm. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh, yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Oh, I have to now. God damn it. What ifs? I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... It's only the beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. From its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted,
Of course. These are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. More like brainwashing, but. I mean, she asked a you fair rang? question. Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. That makes me uneasy. Hey, can I come? Like, she asks a question that contradicts your sayings. You're like, sure, we can educate you this in this room on the behind this closed door where no one can hear you. Mm. All right, now what's my goal? <laughs> Higher learning three. Got a question. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> Damn, dude. I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Just a fancy way of saying you're stuck in your viewpoints and can't get past them. Oops. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Cool. Storeroom was right. Ooh. Where was the damn storeroom at? There we go. Aren't you fixing the elevator? Right this way. Cool. Couldn't collect either of those. There's a Weapon and what do we have here? Uh, an X potion. Good. Those are useful. Who got a new weapon? Cloud? A crystal megaphone. Well, shoot. Nothing else more in here, huh? Oh, 
looks like there's another set of stairs to go higher up. Let's go up and see what that is. Some more oregano and ginger root that I have no use for. More oregano and ginger root. Nope, sage. Move metals. Damn. 5,000 gil. I'll take that. Seems like I've been having troubles with money lately. I would have liked to have bought more armor. another entrance to it well, what the there you are okay so I did go through the wrong door huh interesting okay cool so okay that's I, th I didn't think it was that far down jeez all right, well. All right. Blessings of the planet upon you. Thanks. All right, um, I bought his other megaphone, right? Let's go ahead and equip one at least. I've got the iron megaphone one done. Wow, the red one doesn't hold any? Jeez. Moogle Kaboom. That one gives me Moogle Magic. So we'll equip that one for now. Hopefully I can get him through it quickly. Alright, going down. to heighten our spiritual potency. I invite you to do so now. Alright, where is it at? There. So down this landing. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this, who among you has not the poor we are? The planet speaks to Many travelers have joined in the river of blood. The seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. I've um always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, that. he he used to say it was a waste, me spending all my time indoors. According to him, a big kid like me was using twice as much spiritual energy as other folks. And I was a burden on the planet. But he was wrong. That extra energy I received from the planet, it was... A Blessings waste. of the planet upon you. Fellow Bugenhagen sent word that you might be joining us. You are more than welcome to do so. Okay, so it's just a therapy session? Indeed it is. Thank you for sharing. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Now, would anyone else like to share their story with the group? Mm. 
What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope to see you in the next part. In the meantime, y'all, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>